Did Bill Johnson just post the dumbest thing on the internet? I've seen a lot of really dumb social media tweets through the years, and I've actually been privileged to make a few myself. Uh, but I think that uh, Bill Johnson has topped everyone with probably the dumbest thing I have ever seen on social media ever. The previous winner being that one Donald Trump tweet that we still talk about today. <laughs> that was funny, and I don't care what side of the political aisle you're on, that was funny. But he's posting this this thing that Chris Valaton posted, and it says here that more of you, less of me is not true. Jesus had less of you before you were born, and he didn't like it. Bro, there's still time to delete this. Just delete it. I mean, I heard that marijuana was legal, but I didn't know crack rock was legal, too. In the New Testament, Jesus came along. John the Baptist had all the attention. Jesus came along and started baptizing all these people, and John the Baptist kind of just faded away back and uh, let the Lord Jesus have the preeminence like you're supposed to. And John the Baptist said this. He said, he must increase, but I must decrease. Now, let's compare the Bible with this. More of you, less of me is not true. Uh, God, I mean, just, just, just look, look. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but these guys are not plugged into the same outlet. And to be quite frank with you, I think I'm going to go with John the Baptist on this one. Because, you know, theology. That is so dumb. The longer I look at it, it's like I'm burning brain cells just reading this. Right now, John the Baptist is in heaven going... But, I mean, just the, the biblical inaccuracy of this, that... We are supposed to decrease, and Jesus is supposed to increase in our lives. That I mean, have you ever read the Bible? Have you? I mean, Chris, Chris, bro, have you ever read the Bible? Chris, Bill, what you doing? But Chris, I'm going to help you out, bro. Just in case you haven't read the Bible, let me give you some Bible here. It says in Colossians 1, 16, For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Meaning that Jesus is supposed to be the head of everything. He's supposed to be the theme of everything. He is supposed to simply just be everything to us. After reading that scripture, look at this. More of you, less of me is not true. I'm, I am so judging you right now. And what am I supposed to do with this after looking at all these old hymns? I mean, look at this one. More about Jesus would I know. More of his grace to others show. More of his saving fullness see. More of his love who died for me. More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More of his saving fullness see. More of his love who died for me. More about Jesus on his throne. Riches and glory all his own. More of his kingdom's sure increase. More of his coming prince of peace. Praise God. That I felt good on that one. Amen. That's really good. So the question you have to ask yourself is, do you want people that are this theologically off and this theologically dumb to be writing your music? Well, the answer to that is no. You should not let people who are this off theologically write any of your music. So throw their junk away. Quit messing with Bethel Church. These people are heretics. These people are Gnostics. These people are kooks. Quite frankly, Bethel people are white magic mystics is what they are. These people are not Christians. And I mean, it's, it's like you take Bible truth and flip it on its head and do a total 180 of Bible truth. That's what Bethel believes. And this is insanity. You need to run from these people. You need to get away from these people. And we've been telling you over and over again. And if you haven't watched Third Adam 3 yet, please go do that, folks. This thing will change your life and help you see the truth about who these people are. There is a rise of the divine feminine going on today. It is not a good thing. This is a dangerous, dangerous group to be a part of. And this is not preferential. This is Bible doctrine core stuff. Get away from these people. This is probably the worst thing I've seen in a very long time, and um, I, I don't even know what to say sometimes, other than just get away from these people. God bless you, friends. Subscribe to this channel. We'll see you soon.